There was a uh, Kings, the Beam team, seven straight wins. Uh, but this was a moment. John Morant trying to jinx Malik Monk at the line, who ends up, by the way, missing the clutch free throw a couple seconds later. But uh, Chandler, see, I personally love this as a fan. What do you think about it? The yeah, I mean, this, this is just this is just kind of silly banter, trying to get into his head a little bit, trying to ice him a little bit. This just, you know, this this bit him because obviously it came right back to him and, and he didn't knock the free throws down. But I don't see anything wrong with this. Uh, this has kind of happened a couple of times this season. This is this is just a distraction tactic that you know sometimes works sometimes doesn't this one just kind of made morant look a little silly because it came right back <laughs> to him but i don't hate it i think it's you know any any way you can get a guy off his rhythm or get a guy thinking before he shoots a free throw usually could help uh but you know monk knocked him down and that was huge and the kings are real the kings the kings are rolling man i'm i'm I, they got a really good situation over there i know i don't want to see guys it. This is the moments like this are why I say we should just have the mic up league pass all Thank year. You. I'll pay whatever it is. It's fine. <laughs> uh, everybody wants to have their mailman doesn't deliver on Sunday moment. And that's cool. I like it. It didn't work. <laughs> like, ja, you also got to handle business on the other end. But yeah, it's cool. I, I would like clearly Malik Monk wasn't bothered. DeAndre Ayton was earlier this year. I wonder what they told Ja on the way to the stripe because, yeah, moment clearly got to be clanked that one. Pretty ugly. But yo, De'Aaron Fox, don't foul Ja Morant on a three again ever for the rest <laughs> of his career. Please. Almost just some yo, advice. Th thankfully for us, they would have went to overtime and they would have hit the over. And then I would have been able to place sole blame on Chandler for blowing oh. our, our parlay. But, <laughs> but but unfortunately Ja missed. So here we are. It is a pretty innocent smack talking moment I, I feel like if i'm gonna have smack talk i want it to be a lot more personal maybe something about moms uh or loved ones but i ask you like chandler already chimed in on the sacramento team we're gonna talk about this until they either turn the twisting turn here where they're not as good or all the way to the end of the season but could you see them as a contender i know the west is what it is and i know we've seen some of the teams that are always in its struggle but this team right now looks legit are we crazy for even thinking that I, you no, know what's like, crazy? Could, yeah, I'm looking at the West. There's really no like elite team in the West. Like they're deep. There's a lot of good teams. But when I'm looking, like Portland is going to fizzle off. Utah is a team that we thought was going to lose, who's now is up and coming and winning games. But like <laughs> Denver loses to Detroit last night. Memphis is banged up. Like Clippers are a lot worse than I thought they were going to be. Like there's really no, there's no Milwaukee. There's no Boston. Like the Cavs would be the best team in the West right now. Like there's the Warriors are having their own struggles. Like, so they have a lot of good teams, but like, yeah, there's no reason that these Kings can't, you know, keep going and keep becoming one of the better teams in the West. And, and once they add, you can tell last night to close out that game, they have never, they haven't been in a lot of winning situations. They almost blew that game last <laughs> night just simply because they have no experience of how to do that. They don't have the Iguodala. They don't have those vet guys to like be there. And once they start adding guys like that and they add a few more pieces, these guys are going to be tough. Yeah. When's yeah that it's happening? always funny. <laughs> It's, it's always funny uh, in the NBA when a three quarters court trap works and it was working against the Kings last night and they almost fumbled that game about four different times. If Malik Monk misses one of those free throws, then maybe they do. But yeah, I mean, are they a contender? Contender is a broad term, but like Chandler hmm. said, the, the West is all out of whack. Like the, the Jazz are at the top of the standings. The Kings are a three seed right now. They're the third best record in the conference. If you look at the standing too, the 10 teams that are above the playing line, the, those are pretty much what we expected from playoff teams besides the Warriors. Somebody's going to drop when, when they get it together. Uh, but look, they're a team that's built for the playoffs. They're a team with guys who have playoff experience. They're a team with a dynamic isolation scorer in uh, De'Aaron Fox. And then what Demonis Sabonis provides as well as a post presence and an elbow guy, he's they're built to have success in late, late and close playoff games. Could they win a series? Yeah, they, they get the right matchup in the second round. You, you never know. They could be in the conference finals, but they're legit. They're legit. They have the best offense in the league for a reason. They light it up out there. I love the idea that Shams at some point may actually be having to chase down leads on them making moves to get better, not sort of <laughs> unleashing pieces, which no one, I mean, no one could have predicted, at least not like this.